welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be doing another video in the trying series. And today we're going to be working on a video from a YouTube channel named Grace J Art. And I will make sure to link this full video below. The video we will be working on is called, it's kind of a long title, um, Pink Clouds in Night Sky slash Easy Acrylic Painting for Beginners slash Painting Tutorial slash Painting ASMR, um, which I am not an ASMR aficionado or whatever. So let's watch the beginning of this and see what that really means to have a painting ASMR. Let's watch it. Okay, I'm going to pause it just for a second. Okay, leave me a comment below if ASMR is your jam, if it's your thing, if that scratchiness is, 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 is making you feel something. It's not making me feel anything happy. Maybe I'm not an ASMR person. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you are. Let's hop back to the video. So we got our background, so let's hop over to our table and let's see what we can recreate. Okay, so I did go ahead and pre-prep my page with some clear gesso um, and I set out some of the colors that we are going to need. We're going to be using the Interleave Bible today. And we are going to be in Exodus verse, um, at chapter 40, verse 34, where it says, When the cloud covered the tent of meeting and the glory of the Lord, excuse me, the glory of the Lord filled the temple. Um, I thought that was kind of an appropriate um, uh, scripture for this particular um, design. So we're going to give it a try. I've got, I'm out of palette paper, so I'm actually just using... Um, a piece of stencil blank that I had from another project and I'm using the back of it mainly just so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see um, what colors I'm putting down. So we have our titanium white and we have our aquamarine And I think now that I think about it, I think they actually put it directly on the paper, but already started now. Have this. And then I actually did not have the color Payne's Gray that I could find um, in this particular color. Um, so I'm going, I read somewhere that you can make Payne's Gray by mixing burnt sienna and your ultra um, ultramarine blue, so we're gonna we're gonna attempt that and see if I can do this. Today we are using um, some Amsterdam acrylics from Royal Talon. Okay, 
Okay, so I feel that's kind of equal parts. And we're gonna do a little, a little mixy mixy. Let's see if we can make a Payne's Gray. Because like I said, I didn't have that. Or we might just use a different gray because that looks super brown or maybe let's add a little bit more blue. And if I don't like it, I'm just going to go grab a random gray from my shelf. If I don't like the way this comes out, it doesn't come out gray enough. It still feels very, very brown. Unfortunately, the stuff I looked at didn't give me um, percentages of like how much Payne's gray and how much or how much blue and how much brown, but apparently it was supposed to be, just looking at this, should have been mostly blue with a little dabby do of brown. That's actually looking pretty good. I'm gonna test it on a piece of scrap paper. See what I've got here. See if I've got something on the gray side. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Let's do that. Okay, so we're going to, I should have dotted all this like she did in the video. And I should say, I'm assuming this is a, a lady, um, just based off hands and the name. So if I'm wrong, I, I deeply apologize. I'm gonna grab some blue, grab this blue. We'll grab our titanium white and we're going to take our little spatula and kind of move. Can you hear it? The ASMR. I think I put too much paint gray. Apparently this might work better on a canvas. Yeah, I'm going to add some more of this blue. Maybe I'm not. Oh, that kind of looks like there's a storm coming in. I'm not sure if this is going to work. All right, I'm going to grab a sponge brush because I don't have a big, in my studio right now, I don't have like a big wide, um, kind of looks like I have like a one inch brush. Um, but I don't have one of those currently available. So we're going to try this. Definitely don't think we're going to need to add more Payne's Gray like she did. Okay, let's add a little more white to the bottom. We're kind of getting that ombre situation. Kind of. <laughs> So let's blend in some more blue and white and see if we can make it a little less. It's very heavy on the turquoise right now. Clean it off. Oops, making a giant mess, friends. darker blue so that Payne's gray kind of stays more towards the very top. Woo! Ultramarine blue in the house. And then I'm going to go in with, do I do a thin brush? I don't know where most of my brushes have disappeared so I think it's probably time to buy some more because I tend to get ruined or lost or all of the above. Okay, I guess we'll keep using this. Yeah. Maybe this is meant to be on the canvas because there we go. That kind of adds a little bit of texture. 
blends it up and down a little bit. Well, that's not bad. Not bad. Popped on and looked at it, and hers does have a lot more of this color. So let's just, you know, keep adding colors till we're happy. Ooh, that's that's very turquoise. Do a little more white. We can blend it down a little bit. I feel very Bob Ross right now. You know how he always added the the white with his little spatula thing on his mountains. That's what it feels like right now. keeps getting mixed in I think because of the brush that I have so let's just go in with some white I keep cleaning it off so my white stays or my life stays lighter okay that's getting a little bit better ombre kind of thing. Okay, that's pretty good. So the color is a little different than theirs, but definitely has that dark to light kind of thing. All right, I'm going to hit it with our heat gun to get it dry before we go to the next step. So the magic of editing. So we got our base done. Let's head back to the video and see what our next steps are. base layer and get our colors going. So we had let me scoot you this over. We're gonna figure out what to do here because I didn't think ahead. I should have put a piece of paper over that and I didn't. 
So we'll figure that out. Okay, so we're going to have our coral red, which isn't as orange as I would like it to be, but my set didn't have like a coral red. Um, we're going to, this is our rose pink. Then our titanium white. Well, it apparently has a little blue on it. Whoops. And our, I don't have a whatever that blah, blah, blah magenta was, but this is pretty close. And then our bright purple again did not have that exact one. Um, I'll leave the colors that I actually used down in the um, comments for you guys, um, just in case you're needing kind of a backup because you didn't have the same colors either. So she's using a flat brush which I do have one, so maybe I'll clean the blue off of that. I would think something like clouds, you would want to use like a big fluffy brush, but not my tutorial, so we're gonna assume I don't know anything, because <laughs> I don't. All right, so we're gonna clean our brush off here. Make sure I'm gonna just have a bunch of blue on it. Okay, so I've got a clean flat brush and we're gonna take our coral red, clean my brush off a little bit, and our titanium white. Looks like we're going to mix those into a light pink. Right, and I'm gonna fast forward through this part so this video isn't five hours long. I think we kind of got it. Um, I realized I didn't take my blue all the way down to the bottom, so we're gonna have to figure that out. So um, let's watch the next second. Some of them more translucent. Oh, apparently she didn't show that part, but 
you can see up in that top left corner she's brought that purple up to the top um, and so and then started doing kind of a really light almost dry brush technique for some of the clouds towards the top so that they look more like they're in the background so they're not as strong so let's see if we can duplicate that last time also I didn't make enough of the color of paint that I needed so I'm gonna make sure not to do that this time and I found a spot where I still had blue so I had to go back in and um, remix it okay so we're gonna take our magenta blobby blob there and bright purple blobby blob there a little mix here I'm horrible when it comes to like palettes I'm like people are so good about keeping it nice and concise and I'm just like put it everywhere all right so we're gonna come in here and start making our little wispies of this darker color and she doesn't say whether she dries it in between um, I am NOT so I hope that is correct we're gonna find out. <laughs> so I'm kind of using, trying, let me rephrase that, the same kind of little motion that she is where so even though she's using a flat brush, she's getting kind of a swirly, so you don't end, I don't know if swirly is the right word, but just kind of a, almost like a circular kind of pattern. Not only does that keep you from giving, getting those really harsh edges since you're using a um, um, a flat edge brush, it also allows you to um, get some li little light whispers so that um, it kind of gives the illusion of like puffy kind of clouds. So let's add these little clouds over here. And we're gonna do a little fast forwarding here so you don't have to sit here and watch me struggle. how to do the top portion of the canvas where it has like the darker cloud starting to come down so kind of had to fake that a little bit so let's go to the next one it looks like we're gonna be mixing our magenta and our pink let's see what we do with that
are going to mix together. rose pink and just a little dabby of this magenta get our brush all get it mixed together and we're going to start dabbing in this I'm going to make it a little drier just kind of going in along the edges of our purple. All right, I'm gonna work on this and then we'll be right back. situation but we're gonna keep going see what happens Gray is really green. Let's try a different gray. I think I've got. Let's see what grays I have up here. Handy dandy grays. I've got. I'm going to use this dolphin one. Which I apparently have not used in a long time. dark enough. Well y'all, this should not be this difficult. Well, we'll just give this a try and see what works. Clean my brush off here. And snag some of this and some of this. And add a little bit more of that one. too much gray. 
Oh, I cannot find a happy place today, y'all. This is turning out too light. This might be a bad idea. I'm gonna just a dollop of black. See if I can drop the saturation down a little bit. That's a little better. Now it's very gray. So let's. I feel like a mad chemist right now. A little dollop of this, a little dollop of that. Let's see if we can get to work here. And I'm gonna use my spatula to mix that. Definitely closer, but it's still not as dark. So to make our paint gray, we added aquamarine with burnt sienna. So let's see if I add a little bit of that, what that does. for the love of Bob Ross. Apparently I need to just go buy some Payne's Gray. I'm gonna laugh if I actually do have some somewhere and just didn't remember. Hold up. Do I have some? friends after all this time I forgot I actually do have Payne's Gray in a different brand I do let's try this now and our bright purple. Lord Jesus, let this work. And let's do our little mixy. Oh, friends, I'm gonna add a little bit more of that purple. I think we did it. I cannot believe I had that the entire time and forgot I had that color. All right, let me hit our little speed button and let's see if I can add some depth to our clouds here.
effect is on. Still not sure if I'm gonna make this work or not, but let's watch the next part of the video.
segment of this series is called trying and not called succeeding. So I feel like it turned out okay. I just couldn't get that brush stroke that she was doing in her video to get those kind of really fluffy edges. I feel like I did a lot of like maybe bigger strokes and that kind of thing. You, you can see in the part we just came from that I switch to a stipple brush at some point to see if that would help and I feel like it did a little bit. It took away some of those sharp edges that I was dealing with. So that is uh, what I tried to fix and tried to resuscitate this project. It's not horrible. Um, it is definitely not the best thing I have ever painted. I don't know if maybe I am a person who needs maybe a little more step-by-step -step instruction and the fact that this video was more just follow along and go with it and figure it out on your own. Maybe that's the disconnect for me. But you guys might love this video and be able to whip it out and make an exact duplicate of it. So like I said, I'm gonna leave that comment or that link down below in the description so you guys can go check it out for yourself. So I hope today was once again a challenge for you just to try something different. It might turn out great, it might turn out horrible, it might turn out like my project today and just be like, eh, it could have been worse. So thank you guys so much for joining me for today's um, new trying series and I hope you guys will join me next time. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Have an awesome day guys. Thank you.